Folding 400 people to a conference like this is too small. You want to hold the conference sometimes in the future. Because if you talk about climate change, we had the Koto Convention in 1976, you remember? We have it in Nairobi. We have it in Kenya. Now we have it in uh, Dubai. Is Nigeria aiming at hosting this conference one day? Because your data, your historical data about participation will be very important. How many delegates have you been able to put? And how many times have you been able to participate? How many people from your country are able to deliver papers? So talking about 400 or something is nothing. You remember that at the six states of the Federation, remember also China is a polluter of the environment. Nigeria is the one taking the bonds because Nigeria is at the receiving end. We are suffering from the impact of environmental deregulation. So, so therefore, you will understand that China will bring in more people who are the polluters who are supposed to pay us, whereas we people who are the ones suffering the consequence of environmental deregulation, we are supposed less people. I was one of the rooms when President Obama, President uh, Tinubu delivered a fantastic paper, if I extempora of it. And all the presidents were there, Kerry and all, many of them. So the number of Nigeria in that hall are less than 20. You mean the president will give a speech and 20 people will be there to, you know, share him up? Whereas it's in one of the, one, one of the country president was coming in, he came with about 60, 70 boys and they just broke the, 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 the security system. They don't even go through the checks, and they, they just invaded the place and went with their president in. So we should understand. It's not about people saying 420, 520. We are talking about climate change, the impact in the world economy. You understand very well that disaster doesn't require a visa to travel across border. When COVID-19, you know, left China and come to Nigeria, did they collect a visa from you? Did you get any visa? Now, what damages has it done? We're talking about the tragedy of the common in international relations, where the impact of everybody's effort is leading to disappearance of the, of the environment. Now, you look at all these issues, and these are things that we discuss. For example, imagine the number of cars that have been produced across the world. Nigeria doesn't produce cars. Look at carbon, 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 carbon emission that comes out from that. You know, the impact on us. So you, you see, that's a big issue. But, now, but, now, let, that's a big issue. That, that, now, that, now, let me give you an example. Your argument, Dr. Yes. Jimon, yes. Uh, that those who believe, this is an elitist argument. Yes. We are talking about a nation in dire austerity. Yes. A nation that is finding difficult to sustain itself based on the revenue that is a nation that is not producing anything basically on the ground, consuming most of what is being consumed. And you are sponsoring and you are making, giving, I mean, having a competition with a country like China. These are some of the arguments that are not some Nigerians. Okay. And it's a, it's a vexation argument for some Nigerians who think we cannot just afford sending 400 and something people. How much is ticket these days? How much is Esther code on and is on the nation's bill? Okay. Now, let me tell you, every perspective country has something to take home. Financial rewards, material rewards knowledge reward, unquantifiable. So do you want Nigeria to be out of this? You don't want Nigeria to hold United Nations Climate Change Conference sometimes in the future, in about three, four years from now. That that's why you is, is really move, moving for. Now, if your country is holding this type of conference, do you know how many grants you get from the United Nations? Millions of dollars. So what is it that you are spending small money to get a bigger sum? And you are complaining.